Hi guys! Uh, today we will create negative test for dice login and I already started this so I will show you what I have uh, so you can do it on your end and we will go from there. So in login test class, here it is, our login test class, I copied positive test, I renamed it uh, to negative login test and I removed everything after this line after profile uh, profile page profile page equals login page push sign in button and also I removed expected title and correct profile name so here what I have so just go ahead and copy and do the same and next also in testng xml i excluded method positive login test so when we're gonna run uh, our test it's only gonna run negative test so here's the changes in testng xml and here are changes in login test.java now let's continue from here uh, let's go to dice and see what happens when we enter incorrect email uh, so here's my saved email but let me just uh, not here let me type some garbage here uh, push login okay so we get an error message email and or password incorrect blah 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 so uh, let's let's copy this uh, from here and at the beginning of our negative test let's create string and call it expected error message and paste part of that error message um, I don't, I'm not gonna paste all of the error message part is gonna be just fine uh, next uh, profile page profile page equals push sign in button well the problem is when we push sign in button it did not open the profile page uh, it stayed on login page because the sign in button was incorrect uh, the email was incorrect uh, so let's remove this part uh, and in command wait for profile page to load also that's not correct so login page push sign in button now uh, let's let's get our error message uh, the actual error message so string error message equals and let's create method in login page uh, let's call it get login error message save so we don't have that method yet so just Hover over the error message and Eclipse gonna suggest create method get login error message in type login page. Click on it and we have our method created here. So now uh, let's let's go to uh, the login page. Uh, first of all, let's uh, the first command we're gonna use here is gonna be wait. And it's not uh, the error message not showing up instantly so let's wait for it so wait for visibility off now we need to put the locator the timeout I think 10 seconds gonna be more than enough uh, it's gonna return text so get text and the same element so we need to so locator we need to add this locator for this error message Let's go to Chrome, right click, inspect, uh, uh, strong, 
yeah this one or maybe even this one class help block help message data automation Let, let's use this span data automation id as the locator so let's go to login page private by error message by expat span at data automation id equals and what is what is that login failure help message copy and paste semicolon in the end error message locator created so now in our method get login error message we're gonna wait for 10 seconds for this locator and then get text and save no more errors good now let's go back to login test so now we have expected error message we have actual error message so basically now we just we just need to make sure the expected same as actual let's copy the assertion from our first method let's paste it here and we're gonna see if our actual error message but in this case it's not gonna equal because uh, as for our expected I copied just part of the error message so instead of equals here, I'm gonna use contains. Contains expected error message. And the comment, uh, let's change the comment also. Error message is not expected. Done. So expected and let's paste expected error message from new line actual and let's add actual and dot in the end format everything looks okay no more no more warnings okay let's try so let's right click on our test in gxml and let's run our test method setup we didn't add any comments but that's okay we're gonna add them later oh yeah well it's gonna fail because i forgot to change uh, the email so it's actually logged in yeah test run and one fail so what fail says timeout expected condition failed wait for visibility of yeah the error message yeah it's failed to wait for the error message because I didn't uh, I, I, I use correct email so let's let's put incorrect email at gmail.com let's save and let's run it one more time and let's see if it's gonna work incorrect email yeah looks like it's worked test run one fails zero okay so test passed and that's it for today.